Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Biolite Camp Stove 2, the Biolite Kettle Pot and the Biolite Coffee Press. If that sounds like fun, keep watching. Hey, my name is Jane Sarche and I write recipes for a living. I can normally be found in Myrtle, my adorable camper van, cooking up you guys easy one pot camping recipes. And on that note, Biolite sent me this awesome piece of kit to have a little play with and see what I think. So full disclosure, I haven't paid for any of this. I was sent it as a free gift. Um, and also any links that I include in this video to any of these products will be affiliate links. That just means that I earn a teeny weeny commission if you guys go and buy any of their kit, uh, but it doesn't cost you any more. Alrighty, so first up, I have to give this all a big thumbs up. This thing is ingenious. It's really, really clever. Not only can you use it as a really safe off the ground fire, and a little tiny fire pit when you go camping, but it also charges your USB gadgets. How cool is that? It actually converts the energy from the fire that you're burning into electricity. Now, I don't know about you, but that totally floats my boat. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna scoot forward in time. We're gonna go and have a little play in the log shed. I'm gonna boil up some water. I'm gonna make some flatbreads. I'm gonna put it through its paces and see how we get on. So here they are in all their glory. We've got the BioLite Camp Stove 2. We've got the BioLite Kettle Pot and the BioLite Coffee Press. So first up, let's unwrap this fun little camp stove. Isn't it cute? So it comes with that little black nylon stuff sack. It's got the metal part is where you burn your fuel and then the orange part is where all the magic happens. That's the little USB lead and the USB LED light that is also inside the package. That's the USB port, so that's where you draw the energy from. And there's also a little charging port, so you can charge this up before you even leave the house. That is a little block of fire lighters. This is the kettle pot, so another stuff sack. Insulated handles, perfectly designed to sit on the fire and draw as much heat as possible up into that pan. Comes with a little blue plastic bowl that's nestled inside and the plastic lid with a silicon seal. And this thing here turns that kettle pot into a massive cafetiere. This makes six cups of coffee. This is for groups or families that are all about the coffee. Okay, so now we're off into log shed. Now the key with making a fire in this thing is to keep the sticks short. So I had a good old rootle round in the log shed and I found these really small sticks and I just split them the barrel of the fire pit is actually quite small. You don't want the sticks or the fuel to stick outside the top of the burn chamber because then you're not going to have a level surface to pop your pan onto. Sarah just showed you how to clamp the battery pack onto the stove. And then I'm going to stuff it full of these lovely wood shavings. This makes brilliant tinder, by the way. And you just stuff your tinder right down into the bottom of the pan. Now I tried to break these fire lighters up with my fingers. I am clearly such a wimp because I couldn't. I had to whack them with an axe. <laughs> but hey, it worked. And like I said before, I really like these little fire lighters. The normal fire lighters you buy just make everything smell. These didn't smell too bad and they burnt really, really well. So great job there, BioLite. And once that fire gets going, I tell you what, the unit, the orange unit has got a fan built into it, which pushes air up through the burn chamber. And it, I tell you what, it is so efficient. It's absolutely fantastic. Very, very clever design. Now, what I will say at this point is that at one point, and unfortunately, I didn't catch it on camera. Otherwise, trust me, I would have shown you. At one point, I overloaded the burn chamber with too much fuel before I'd given the fire a chance to take hold and I just got completely smoked out. If you treat your fire with respect and you build it up gradually, you won't have any problem with smoke at all. It's a smokeless fire unit, it's ever so clever, but if you do overload it, then you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna be sending smoke signals to kingdom come. <laughs> now I'm just looking at the packaging here. Apparently you can bring a liter of water to a boil in an average of four and a half minutes which is pretty good going. And I used minimal fuel to get that water boiled, which I was really impressed with. 
And obviously that coffee tasted great. All right, now we're really gonna ramp things up. We're gonna make some flatbread on the BioLite camp stove too. Let's see how this goes. Now this is an old favorite recipe, ever so easy. Really, really, really easy. Um, just flour, salt, oil, and a little bit of water until you get this nice pliable dough. Break off little chunks, like little golf ball sized balls of it. Roll them up into a ball and then roll them out with a rolling pin or a wine bottle or anything that you've got around the camp. If it's something that's a bit grubby, perhaps it's like, I don't know, like the handle of something that might be a bit grubby, just wrap it up in some cling film, tin foil, or even a, a plastic baggie just to keep the food nice and clean and safe. Key with making flatbreads on an open flame, well actually on any flame, is to use a nice heavy frying pan, this one is a cast iron pan, and let the pan heat up before you put your flatbread onto it. You don't want the bread in there as the heat comes up, because then you've got a chance of it burning and or sticking. So this worked really well. I think I probably stocked up the fire pit in between every flatbread or maybe every other flatbread. I made about six or eight flatbreads. Um, so yeah, it did need stocking up quite a bit in between. These are just the photos I took at the end for the blog posts. Uh, yeah, smothered in butter, it's my favorite. And then when you finish cooking, you can pick it up safely by holding the orange part. And then I just took it outside because I wanted to step away. And obviously I didn't want to leave a fire burning in the log shed because, hey, that would be stupid. So as you saw in the video, if you just buy the BioLite Camp Stove 2, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the actual fire pit, the burner part. You're going to get this, which is the battery pack, the charger. This is the bit that does the magic. This is what turns your little wood fire into electricity. You're also going to get a little stuff bag for it to live in so it keeps all your other gear nice and clean and tidy. You're also going to get the USB charger, a little bag of the fire lighters, which I really liked these and they didn't stink really bad either as fire lighters normally do. And you're also going to get the little LED light. This thing I'm not sure that I showed you in the video, but for this you just pull down that little flap at the front, plug that in. You turn the stove on and then when you tap, you get this lovely bright LED light, press and hold and it dims and it goes off. And the other nice bit about this kit is that when you've finished your dinner and you're all packed away for the night, you can take that off the fire. You can take this bit into your tent or into your camper van and this still works on its own. It's stored all that energy from that night's fire and you can still plug it in, charge your phone, and draw on that electricity that you created. It's so clever. So there we have it. Overall, I give this a whopping great big thumbs up. It's a little bit heavy. If you're an ultralight backpacker, this isn't gonna be for you, but for me with a camp van, or even when I used to be a car camper, so I just pull out the tent and put the tent up, this would definitely be a great contender for your next camping trip. It really is very, very clever. That's it for me. Follow the links down in the description box below if you want to find out any more about any of these products and I'll see you in the next video.